What is up, YouTube? Thrift School over here outside of Goodwill. We're gonna go inside, do some thrifting, hope that we find some stuff. It is uh, still mask season here in Connecticut, just like everywhere. <laughs> and uh, So I don't know how muffled my voice is. I'll do a voiceover once I get inside, but hopefully we find some stuff to sell on eBay and Amazon. So here we are inside of the Goodwill, and I already have a few things picked out in my cart that I'd like to show you guys. I checked out the DVD section first, and I picked out a few of them. You can see this CD case right here. I didn't notice it was cracked, and this is why I always double check and triple check things. You have no idea how many times I buy stuff at thrift stores, get home, realize it's broken, and then I realize I just wasted money on it. Um, but those other ones looked good. I got these two Guitar Hero and Rock Band guitars in my cart. And I'm just looking at the electronics section, seeing if anything cool stands out. We have a Sony record player right here. There's the model number. And they wanted $20 for it. Way too much. Doesn't go for that much on eBay, as you guys can see. It's not like a super valuable item. And shipping on it would be pretty expensive. And you have to be very careful with packaging something as fragile as a record player. So I decided to leave it behind. And I'm just going to look through some of the toys. Wanted to see if that puzzle was sealed. And it wasn't. I do find a sealed clue board game. And looked pretty cool. $4. I thought that was going to be a great deal. Come to find out, I would only profit $4 on this. So spend 4 to make 4 I'd make the money pretty quick. But because of how large the box is... Amazon would probably make me ship this in myself in its own box. So it would cost me about $4 to ship it in. So I'd really not make any money on it. You could see right here, great rank. Uh, there it is. What? 5,400 in toys. Look at that. They take out $12 in fees. So I'd only be making eight eighty. dollars Those are my gross proceeds. That's not including my shipping cost and my buy cost. So had to leave it behind. I'm sure some people would pick this up without thinking. You got to take into account the shipping costs on Amazon as well as your buy cost. I've seen that mistake happen lots of times. I've made that mistake a few times myself. Now, this is pretty cool. This is an older toy. I remember this, these uh, Twister Skippets back in the day, but I slid it around in there and it was dirty. It looked like it was not sun faded, but you know when old school toys and video game systems get that yellowing, computers get it as well. That's what it had and it just wasn't good. So back to the electronics, I find a Sony DVD VCR combo. These could be worth good money. Normally you want the remote with them. This one doesn't have the remote. It was $6, which isn't bad. It's also a recorder. That does make it a little more valuable, actually a lot more valuable normally, but take a look at this listing. Kind of a high rank, 220,000, only two star reviews. You'd make 75 bucks, but with that two star review, a horrible picture, not a great rank. If you want to buy the remote for it on Amazon, you're looking at a minimum of a $27 purchase. So you'd be in it over $30. You don't even know if it works. It's just not worth the time. Again, think about shipping this thing in. You're going to be using lots of bubble wrap, lots of packing material, big box. The dimensions are going to be big. So you got to take that all into account. It might seem nice that it's a $75 or a $100 sale. But once you break everything down, you also have to get AV cables for it. So... All these little things add up. Now, I thought this was cool. A brand new sealed poker game, but it's not showing up on Amazon. Now, I do sell on eBay as well, and I probably should have looked this up on eBay, but I decided to just leave it behind. It's no big deal. We're pretty much primarily looking for Amazon at the moment. And I found this awesome thing on the VHS shelf. This is Evil Dead 2. It's a tin. I thought it was a video game because on the back there it shows a PlayStation case. And so I opened it up all excited thinking it was an Evil Dead video game. And no, it just had a demo trailer on the DVD. But take a look at this price on there. Uh, not a horrible rank, but it's only selling for $10.50. After fees, you'd only make 4 bucks. Brand new sealed, it's worth money. Used, not so much. So if I paid $2 for it, I'd only make $2. All right, guys, we are back at the house. And this is everything I picked up. It doesn't look like a lot, but there's a lot of good, valuable stuff in here. So let's just jump right into it. Let me show you guys exactly what we ended up grabbing. We put back one guitar, but we ended up finding a different kind. This one's good because it is an Xbox 360 one. You guys can see right there, there's the logo. It doesn't require an added dongle. So the PlayStation 3 ones require an added dongle that's usually missing, and that's where a lot of the money is. And that's what that other guitar was that I had in my cart at one point. So I put that back, took this one, $6. If it works good, which I have to test it, 
could go anywhere from 60 to 80 dollars so not bad there this is more of a rare one this is called a shred master i've never seen it before shred master couldn't find this exact one anywhere it has a playstation 2 dongle on it and it has a port down there to plug it in really interesting i saw a similar one sell on ebay uh, about a month or so ago maybe a little bit longer for a hundred dollars and there's none listed now and really no other solds. So who knows what I'm actually gonna get for it. Pretty cool, I could test it with the PlayStation 2. And it seems like this port is kind of universal, so you could use an Xbox adapter, a USB adapter for the PC, anything like that. So really cool and unique there. And then I picked up this board game. Now, I actually forgot to scan it. I looked it up by just typing it in, so I hope this is the correct model. Let's flip it over, it's Cranium, I paid $6 for it. So what we're gonna do live right here is scan it into Amazon and hope that it's actually worth good money. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Yeah, it's still worth good money, okay. So it's selling for $44.39, I will make $31.17. And a cool little calculator on here, if you want to look it up, I'm going to be selling it Amazon Fulfilled. That's the price I'll have it at. Shipping to Amazon. Shipping to Amazon is surprisingly super cheap if you are able to get it in a shipment of a whole bunch of things. So if I have a shipment of 60 things, 50 things, right? It can cost me less than a dollar to ship this, but we'll even be gracious and give it one dollar. And the cost of purchase was six bucks. And there we go. I will make $24.17, probably closer to $25. So really not bad at all for a pretty simple thing to just stick a label on and ship off to Amazon. Then we have some DVDs and a CD. And this is all for Amazon. This stuff's all brand new and a great way to make sure, uh, cause you know, you wanna be careful when you're selling things like DVDs and CDs on Amazon, you wanna make sure they're legit and not knockoffs. Now it's, it's pretty easy to tell, honestly, if something's fake or real, but these Walmart stickers really help. It means they came from Walmart clearance and a bunch of these have it. This one doesn't. This one has that Walmart sticker on the back. This one has another Walmart sticker on the front. So that actually really helps. These old store stickers, there's a CVS sticker on there. They really help. Now, I've never really had any issues because it's pretty, pretty simple to tell if something's fake or not. But we'll scan some of this stuff in for you guys so you can see what it's going for over on Amazon. And let me pull up the app again. And this CD right here, I've actually sold this exact CD before. So when I saw it, I knew it was gonna be worth good money. You guys can see there's actually no brand new sellers on it. The rank's pretty decent. Um, the last one I sold was brand new, so I was probably the only seller on it. Used, you're still going to make five bucks. I only paid one dollar for this. That's how much all their CDs are, one dollar. So if I list this for like 30, maybe even 40 dollars, I think it'll still sell. Moving on to the DVDs, so Ghostbusters 1 and 2, all their DVDs were $2. There were some random ones there that were 3 for some reason, but um, the majority are $2, and I'll just scan a couple of them for you guys so we can take a quick look. This one is going for $13.54, I'll make $7.21 minus my $2, 5 bucks on this guy. And let's scan, this one's really cool, so this I'm going to put on eBay because listen to this. Hear that? The disc is loose inside. It's not in its um, little case holding. But if we look it up on Amazon, we could actually scan the picture right here. Look it up on Amazon. And where is the correct listing? We want the one with the lowest ranking right here. And this is selling for $32.47. So I would make $23, I only paid two for it. But I'm gonna put it on eBay. Let's take a quick look so you guys can see the difference between prices in eBay and Amazon. Sealed DVD, $19.99, and the next one's at 28. So it looks like I could probably get close to that $30 range, but you know, I, I want a quick sale on this, so odds are, especially since the disc is loose in there, odds are I'll list it for just under $20, probably like $19.95 on that. Still not bad for a $2 purchase. And then we'll look up this last one right here, Eels with Strings Live at Town Hall. 
and we'll scan this one into Amazon. And here it is, decent rank, 109,000 in DVD, brand new, selling for $46.91, make $35 minus my $2 buy cost, so $33. Now, I didn't scan them all, the other ones are worth just a few bucks each, but still not bad. And then the last thing I grabbed right before I left was this, this awesome box right here for $10. Dollars. It's heavy box. It's a whole bunch of 15 pound plates, weighted plates. Oh, and weighted plates are very jacked up in price right now. 15 pound ones. We'll take a look at up. We'll look it up because I'm gonna sell these on eBay. I think I could fit this into a large, maybe even a medium flat rate box. And it's only 15 pounds, so. It shouldn't cost me, I mean, it, it should fit. It doesn't go over the weight limit for flat rate boxes. So let's take a quick look on eBay and see what it is selling for. All right, so I was scrolling and it looks like right when it gets to 15 pounds at the lowest price, you're looking at a pair for 62 or 65. So 30 pounds of weights for about that 60 to $65 range. So I got two sets in here. I paid $10 total, so $5 a set. Now, does this look like it'll fit in a medium flat rate like this? I don't know. We're gonna actually have to get some boxes. I'm gonna have to find the, I, there's like two style of flat rate boxes. There's the long skinny one, and then the actual square one. I don't know if this will fit. So we'll have to look into it, if not, um, I know for a fact just one of these should fit into a medium flat rate and then I can just cut the price in half and ship them that way. But still not bad for $10. I will take that all day. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoyed the haul at the end. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions at all. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Thrift School signing out. See ya.